Hey guys, Luke here, back with another photo shoot video because that's what this channel is all about. It's photo shoots, photography, all that kind of good stuff. Today, I'm going to be doing some splash photography. If you've been around long, you probably know I love splash photography, but today I'm taking a little different approach. I've got my little mini fish tank here. I'm gonna put a coffee cup down the side here, fill it up with water, and then dump some stuff in, some like paint, some oil, some different things. Try to get some cool underwater shots. Hopefully get some cool looking photos. Just so you know what to expect in this video, first I'm gonna do some behind the scenes, show you the setup, show you taking the pictures, and then lastly I'll give you a quick rundown of what I'm gonna do in Photoshop and kind of walk you through that process of finishing off the photos. So, let's get into this. So first off, I'm gonna set up this light box that I have. This is gonna give me a nice white background. It also has some built-in lights. I'm gonna get my fish tank filled up and set up inside here. And then I'm just gonna try to blast this with as much light as possible because we're gonna be doing a really fast shutter speed on the camera, which means it's not gonna be bringing in as much light. We're gonna have to compensate by setting up just as many lights as I can gather around here and try to angle in such a way that it's not glaring off the glass. So I ended up here, we've got the lights inside the light box. I've got this aperture light here. Then I have this big soft box light. I also have a light off to the left here. I'm gonna stick my coffee cup in here. I came outside because I'm gonna put some of this black paint into a ketchup bottle and it's probably gonna get everywhere and make a huge disaster. Well, that actually didn't turn out too bad. And we're ready to rock and roll. Gonna squirt that paint in there. Got my camera set on burst mode, just blasting away there with the photos as fast as I can. And here's our first result. These, I think they're gonna be something in here we can use. Obviously in Photoshop, we're gonna get rid of the fish tank and clean things up quite a bit. But this is a good starting point for the photos. All right, I'm just gonna keep taking some more pictures with a different coffee mug. Gonna try a black background. And I also wanna try some oil. So I think I have some pictures there that turned out all right. These ones, they're kinda of cool, but they're also kind of like cluttered. There's a lot going on. They're not really um, like fine art so much as they're just sort of experimental. This one, however, I feel like it's just like a good starting point for some fine art photography. It has a very clear subject of the photo. There's not too many distractions. And in Photoshop, I think we're gonna be able to clean this up really nice and make something that's a bit more like fine art out of it. So I'm gonna jump into Photoshop and show you how to do that. But first, some of my own merch, which helps support this channel. This is a little mini tripod. It's really great just for taking on hikes. I bought it for myself because when I go on a hike, I just wanna bring my camera. I hate lugging a tripod around, um, but inevitably I end up in a situation where I need to take a time lapse, a long exposure, a self-portrait, something like that, and I didn't bring my tripod. So I bought this for myself because I wanted one because I can just slip it in my pocket here, don't even know that I have it. So it's something that I personally find valuable. And then I decided to launch it as my own Amazon product so that I could bring it to you guys and help support my own channel. So if you wanna check it out, link in the description below. In the meantime, let's jump into the editing of this photo. First thing I'm gonna do is use the magic eraser tool, zoom in here and get rid of this blemish that's actually on the side of the tank. So we'll just erase that real quick. Next, I actually want to go in and get rid of a whole bunch of these little bubbles that are on the side of the cup down here. Now I'm going to use the lasso tool and carefully select my entire mug and make it its own layer and just delete the background. There was a reflection on the edge of the tank that made the bottom of the cup here brighter, so I'm going to darken that up. I'm also going to come in here with the eraser tool and just uh, touch up these edges and feather them in a bit. I want the coffee mug to look like it's sitting on top of something. I'm going to come in here with the paintbrush tool and make a little bit of a shadow down there at the bottom. 
darken that up a bit, just like that. Last of all, I want to come in and paint in some blue into this area of the photo. And that's it! We're done! Now we can look at the before and after. If you guys like this video, then I have lots more right here. Check those out. Make sure to subscribe because I will be back with another video very soon. See you guys.